Thomas the Tank Engine, James and the Balloons. There was to be a balloon race on the island of Sodor. All the engines were very excited. I love balloons, said Thomas, especially at parties when they go pop. Gordon chuckled. But these are not party balloons, said Gordon. They are hot air balloons with baskets fixed to them. They carry people up into the sky. James was chosen to take the balloons to their starting point. He was very proud. I wish I could watch the balloon race, he said. So do I, said the driver, but we can't stop. We have work to do. Later that afternoon, as James puffed down the line, he saw the balloons gently rising into the air. We can't stop and what can't we stop and watch for a while, James sighed. I'm sorry, James, said his driver. We are already late. We must move on. The balloons were very high in the sky now. They drifted over a head, overhead, but one sank very low. It looks as if that balloon is in trouble, said James. His driver slowed down. The balloon was almost down now. It bumped along the ground and landed on the line right in front of James. His driver put on the brakes. Thank you for stopping in time, shouted one of the balloonists. It looks as if we are out of the race, though. Never mind, replied James's driver. We'll take you and your balloon to the finish. James's driver and fireman helped the balloonists pack their gear away. They all heaved the heavy bundle onto the train. The balloonists climbed into the guard's van and James started off again. James reached the finish just in time to see the other balloons landing. Lots of children were there to cheer the winner. Thomas and the fat controller were there too. This is much more exciting than party balloons, said Thomas. The fat controller agreed. And even more exciting if you rescue a balloon and bring it home, said James. The fat controller laughed. Well done. The end.